It's June 2023. Only a few days from the release of Minecraft's promising 1.20 update. Unbeknownst to the community, is that something lurks deep into the shadows of Minecraft code. A virus, self-replicating, was spreading like wildfire, from computer to computer, infecting uncountable Minecraft mods on various websites. What does it do? When it infects, it steals the user's passwords, digital cookies, Microsoft and Discord accounts, crypto wallets and a lot of other sensitive information. And it does all of that undetected. This virus would soon be known as Fracturizer. First of June. A GitHub user by the name of D3SL becomes suspicious of a weird jar file that behaves in an unprecedented manner, prompting him to investigate it further. After a while, the file was confirmed to be malware linked to Minecraft. A user by the name of D Malumen worked on reverse engineering the code to comprehend the malware better. The users alerted CurseForge and some antivirus software, although this information wasn't published. Yeah. 7th of June. The team discovers that the malware is included in an unauthorized update for the popular Minecraft mod Better Minecraft, expanding the number of possible victims. Not known to the team yet, this was just the tip of the iceberg. Files dating back to April were discovered to contain the virus. This may be a false flag, but it indicates that the attack goes further back than anyone had anticipated. 703 UTC, same day. The team publishes in their GitHub page, they have discovered what the so-called Stage 3, the final form of the malware does. It scans the computer looking for Minecraft mod files and infects them, self-replicating. Then, if someone happens to share those files, say, to a friend, they will receive the infected version and the process will repeat itself. Or say a mod developer happens to accidentally download the virus, in that case, all of their mods are going to be infected and when they upload it to CurseForge or any other website, boom. This way, the virus spreads itself, mod to mod, file to file, like a real-life pathogen, spreading, not through sneezes or coughs, but through innocent file sharing and uploads. So, am I safe? No. I mean, it's complicated. But if you downloaded or updated any Minecraft mod recently, you could possibly have your device infected. There is a list of mods known to have been infected, although, as the team itself said, tracking individual mods is pointless due to the sheer scope of the attack. Some of the mods include Better Minecraft, Skyblock Core, Heaven Elytra, and Golden Awakening. So, remember, this list is just a small fraction of it all. The virus isn't limited to a certain website, or to Forge, or Fabric, so really no mod is truly safe. So, how does this work, and what are the stages I've talked about? As this chart made by the team in Comic Sans points out, stage is the level of code that malware deploys, which for normal people, basically it's like a Pokemon evolving, instead it's a malware doing its thing over different stages. It all starts with stage 0, a normal mod infected. It isn't doing anything, like a bacteria frozen on Antarctica, until you run the program. Then, we get to stage 1 and 2, which I'm not that nerdy to really explain in simple terms, but basically it's the virus doing its thing to start infecting. Then, by stage 3, it starts its job. It steals private and sensitive information, as cited before, including passwords, tokens, cookies, crypto, and maybe even more, considering the sheer size of the file. But the most important thing is, it self-replicates, injecting other Java files with stage 0, for people to then upload and spread the malicious code even more. But, how can I know if I'm infected? There are different ways to check, different ones for every stage. For stage 0, the start, you can use the overwolf scanner, although personally I think it's a pretty crappy interface, it's pretty effective, just select the file and it will check. Or you can use some of the other methods found in the document in the description, including a website. For a stage 2, some antivirus are already detecting it, so you may get a notification saying the file was detected and removed. Now, this doesn't mean you are safe yet, because the virus has already started taking over, and maybe more action will be needed. If you are on Windows, which you probably are, click Windows, type Local App Data, and click on the file. Look for a folder called Microsoft Edge, with a space. If you have this, sorry to inform you, but you're probably infected. In case you use Linux, probably not, the steps are in the document in the description. And in case you use Mac, you're probably safe. For now. So, now what happens? In case you are infected, follow the document's instructions in the description. In case you aren't, well, the team recommends not playing Minecraft at all, but since I know you're all addicted like me probably, you really should avoid downloading, updating, or even playing Minecraft mods, especially from the internet. This is Karma. Stay safe, be careful, 
Opa, o Foley Wonk Nietzsche do Apart, 